having stuff. Today in this video I don't have a huge concept, I just want to uh, take a walk with you and uh, talk a bit about some, some things uh, in life that are actually on my mind. So uh, may, this may be interesting uh, for you as well. So and in my life, I um, uh, maybe two years ago I founded the company Things.com. I went from a cushy job into uh, becoming 100% self-employed and so it was a big risk t taking. So I have uh, a wife and uh, two kids and I have to like... Um, uh, pay for for the living of my whole family so it was it was like it was a huge decision to to actually go go self employed without having a big business in the first place so i had i had an online uh, presence and i had a uh, um, few few uh, tens of thousands of uh, visitors to my blog, but I still decided to to go for it uh, without actually having a big income or so. So I just went went there and then I started uh, started out as a self-employed um, coder online. And I had some different gigs, different streams of income. So from uh, from being a freelance developer, so I could already code, um, uh, to also being a writer and selling a few courses, so I had like different areas where I could focus. But uh, um, so so the the thing I want to focus on this video is is this decision. This uh, I, in retrospect, it had, it had been the best decision in my life. So I'm I'm now now I'm really relaxed, and I I also have uh, more than than enough income I need, and I do um, I actually I work in in in. Uh, in an area that I love, so I love coding, I love teaching computer science, and uh, so I have accomplished much of the things uh, that I didn't uh, even uh, know that are possible. So I, actually, if I'm when I'm when I was working uh, as an employed person, I always dreamt of that of that life that I'm now li uh, living, and it's, it's, it sounds cheesy, I know, but I just want to. To, 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 to share this with you. Maybe you are an employee yourself, maybe you are a, a student or maybe you are working in a job that you don't 100% like and I just want to give you some some hope that actually, so, so what is the worst case that can happen if you dump that job? The worst case in our, so in our, in our world, we are always thinking that it's, it's an, like an ex existential thing. So that is, it's very, so we, we need this job to keep us, um, to keep uh, like food on the table and uh, and to like pay for this house, pay for the car and so on. But if you um, if you are if you are being honest with yourself, it's uh, the the job and all the income you need to generate. It's just it's just income for consumption and for um, uh, for. Uh, it's like luxury. Most of the expenses are actually luxury, and and many expenses actually um, happen only because you have a job. So this keeps you in this uh, red race kind of uh, kind of situation where you have to, for example, you have a job, you need a car to get there, and to pay the car you have to work more even more, and then you don't want to have the cheapest car. Maybe that costs five thousand dollars. You want to have a car that actually um, gives you some positive feelings about yourself and gives you confidence so you you need to have a car that uh, um, like costs twenty thousand dollars or so and you you always want want to have more you'd always uh, need more money so that you can do more consumption so you you're always focusing on the consumption uh, so 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 your consumption expenses rise over time uh, with infl inflation and everything and so you just try to keep up with your production um, uh, product production, which is your income. So, uh, usually, if you produce more, if you do do more stuff, if you give more value to society, you also um, you have a higher production. You get paid better in more or less in our society. But